In the last video, we uh, described a way of arriving at an expression for the scattering amplitude without actually knowing the full form of our wave function. We did this by a uh, perturbative treatment that's known as the Born series. And we said that uh, in the first Born approximation, uh, our wave function is described by the following expression. In this video, we're going to see what this expression is telling us, and in general, what the higher order terms in the Born series uh, is describing. So what this expression over here is saying is if we're looking at a point R, we have two contributions to the wave function in this point. We have uh, a contribution from the incident wave that's described over here. And if our potential is somewhere over there, then we have an incident wave that's hitting our target at some point, R prime. And then from here, it scatters onto our point R. Okay, so this thing over here is representing our potential. So uh, what this integral is giving us then is the, the process of an incident wave hitting at the target at some point R prime over here and then propagating towards our point R. For this reason, the Green's function is often called the propagator because it's propagating the signal uh, or the scattering signal due to the potential to our point R over here. So by sticking to the first Born approximation, we're only looking at processes like this. The second Born approximation This was saying that the wave function is the following. Okay, and specifically the process that this third term over here is describing, okay, this, this term is just the same that we had up here. The third term is we have our potential over here. And now our incident particles hit some point R prime. From here, the signal is propagated. So that's this over here, the signal is propagated by the Green's function to some point R prime. That's what this integral is giving us. And then this integral tells us to propagate the signal from R prime to our point R over here. Okay. Higher order terms in the Born series uh, continue to be described by this kind of process where the signal is, uh, is sequentially uh, propagated from different points in the potential up until our point of observation over here. As mentioned earlier, in this course, we're going to stick with the first Born approximation.
which we're going to rewrite in a slightly more convenient form. So we're going to write in terms of this new variable kappa. Notice importantly here that this potential, uh, we're not assuming anything about this potential other than saying that uh, this potential energy is much smaller than the kinetic energy of the incident particles in making the first born approximation. Here, this kappa is we have our incident uh, wave function propagating in this direction. We have the scattered wave function. And this vector over here is what we're calling kappa. And this is Ks minus Ki. And what's nice about this expression is in principle, it allows us to find the scattering amplitude for high energy scattering problems by simply evaluating this integral. If it can be done analytically, then it can still be done numerically. From the scattering amplitude, we can then calculate the differential cross-section or total cross-section for a scattering problem. There's uh, two special cases to this equation that are often of interest to us. Uh, we can approximate this now in the low energy limit, uh, which will simplify this expression somewhat, and also for the case of spherically symmetric potentials or for a central potential. And we'll look at those two special cases in the next video.